I'll be showing my Red Velvet Irene photo card collection as of December 31, 2022. It's almost a new year, so I thought since the reason I have this channel is because I collected Red Velvet Irene, I decided to make a video solely on my Red Velvet Irene photo card collection. I don't have any plans to update my non-album photo card binder because I didn't pull her for SMCU Palace and I'm still waiting on some stuff in the mail. I'll be an update for next year, 2023. This is still my cover page. It's the A4 of Irene from the Feel My Rhythm album. There was a recent announcement of Tons of birthday merch and SMCU Palace merch, so maybe I'll change it if I do decide to get another A4, but for now, this definitely is my favorite photo. Feel my rhythm. Irene is so pretty. And um, this is Queendom from the DIY cubic painting. And the rest of these are like other type of merch postcards. So there's actually quite a bit of old photo cards or merch or inclusions coming in, as well as some new ones. I haven't gotten to work with the SMCU Palace photo cards because I'm just waiting for a good deal or maybe if I do pull it myself, I could do that instead. I do prefer to pull my own inclusions and photo cards, but of course that's not always going to happen. So I'm still waiting on that. The pink Christmas photo cards, I did manage to snag some, but I would like to get like the special photo card, but um, yeah, I'm still like debating if I should order my own sets or not, or just wait for like a third party seller. <laughs> oh shoot. So um, this is just like another type of cover page, I guess just for cushioning for the actual official photo cards. And these are just like the freebies of Red Velvet Irene throughout the various eras, starting from like debut, happiness, up to Feel My Rhythm. I don't think I have any birthday freebies yet, so it's a double-sided page. And over here starts the album concept photo cards, a mixture of merchandise photo cards like these two. This is like from their anniversary, 8th anniversary trading card set but it shows like a photo from Ice Cream Cake era while this is from the Trolls um, collaboration like Russian Roulette over here I think I'm expecting Peekaboo merchandise photo card I can't even recall what merchandise came from like, like this one, some kind of merch card there's still a lot more Irene photo cards that I do not have and it's definitely on the wish list but you know it's a process if you are a collector like trying to get 100% of the cards sometimes it's really tough especially if you're an overseas collector so prices tend to kind of be higher or it's harder to trade so um, it's been quite the journey of 2022 trying to expand on this Red Velvet Irene collection but it's definitely worthwhile, especially if they're your ultimate bias. So she's definitely my ultimate bias in third generation K-pop. It's definitely been quite a ride to try to get as much photo cards and inclusions of her as possible. And this whole birthday album has been a real treat. The SMCU Palace, the 8th anniversary stuff, all of those things. There's been so many beautiful photo cards to collect and it's been really exciting to be able to showcase this on this channel. Monster. And then now we're already at Queendom. Out of these cards, this is definitely my favorite pre-order benefit card. I don't even know if there's more that exist, but Definitely love this outfit and this look from her, from the Feel My Rhythm music video. But as for like the regular album card, definitely this one's my favorite. So I kind of like Feel My Rhythm photo cards the best. And these are like kind of MISC photo cards, like 
I guess it's, it was from a fan sign or fan call or something. This one was possibly unofficial, but it's still so pretty. Like, I'm just loving everything about the Feel My Rhythm era. And these three are all my pulls. Okay, so yeah, that was Bloom. Unofficial card over here, but it's a really nice photo card, so why not showcase that? Okay, so this is the start of the birthday photo card collection. So, um, Soundwave or Apple Music, I don't remember which one's which. This one's Make Star, it's a holographic photo card. K Town for You, I think that's SM Town in store, uh, Music Plan. So now we're gonna go into birthday. Oh, I forgot to mention, Season's Greetings also recently came out, so I'm still waiting on my shipment for Season's Greetings. It's meant for an update for 2023. This was a pre-order benefit card from SM Global Shop. So this page is going to start with the pre-order cards and then the album photo cards. But it's crazy, like there's even a birthday a random trading card set so I think it's three per member and I haven't even gotten or pre-ordered the Espa trading card set but the fact that they're random it's kind of a gamble but sometimes it is fun to get it and then to see which member you get but if you're like trying to get as much of a member as possible it is quite the gamble Now, the rest are also pre-order benefit cards. This is the Mumo card I got the other day. I'm leaving it in the original packaging. I kind of like that sticker. And it's how it says not for sale. I find that kind of funny. May double sleeve it in the future. I don't know. We have two of them. They gave me two because they forgot to give me a Yeri. Or I don't know if it was intentional or if it's just like random. I'm pretty sure when you pre-order like the same number of albums as the number of members, technically you should get every member, right? I would imagine when they get these in shipment, it comes in like sets with each member. That's just my guess. This is from the SM unboxing event for birthday. And I think, yeah, I got two of them. And I guess even though I don't have a Seasons Greetings or SMCU Palace or the Pink Christmas photo cards, I guess I'll just flip through my non-album concept photo card binder. But I really don't have any updates for that. Oh shoot. So I already pulled this for my initial cake orders, but all of these are from um, the SM Global Shop order. Definitely have tons of duplicates. Same with the photo book version back there. I may just shift because I did not expect to get so many duplicates. So the end of this binder is like a little crazy. Okay, I don't know how that looks. I'll just shift it like this. Let me show the pages again. It's only like three pages of birthday photo cards. These are unit photo cards. I guess I'll just put this photo card there too since I got like at least three of these. I'll put a, the final photo card as a group photo card. And this was some kind of merchandise. It's like a photo ticket. Um, maybe I should put it here since this is like the birthday concept. And this is from the Digipack. So it's kind of like a mini poster. Okay is just from the folded poster. I got so many of them and I don't hang it on my wall or anything so I just decided to cut it out and just put it in the binder. Cut out the Irene portion of each poster. 
just to repurpose it. Um, inclusions. As much as possible, I try to make it chronological unless, you know, there's an exception. Monster inclusions. I actually don't have all of them, but this is what I pulled. And queen them and feel my rhythm. Then the birthday Polaroids. Okay, so for these last few pages, I'll open up this cake version, the Irene pink flavor cake version, and put the circular photos into my photo card binder. And I'll probably just put the single photos in here. So I'll just leave the unit ones in this album. All right. So these are double-sided circular photos. If you haven't seen an unboxing of the cake version, you'll see that. So I just got these two pocket pages and I'll just put one circular photo per pocket since it's double-sided. I'm hoping this is the best way to store it, but if there's like anyone who has better ideas on how to put these in the binder, um, feel free to let me know what kind of pages you put your circular photos in. Yeah, so I try to get a Hot Tracks offline event photo card. I think the picture this is something from the recipe concept. Um, I'm not sure if I got it or not, but I'll have to see how my proxy did. So it'd be really cool to have that photo card because I totally missed it when it was on sale. These photos are so pretty. It's bigger than a photo card, so... Quite a clever idea. It's different from, I guess, what we're used to. Maybe I should put one more. I'll get one more unit one. I'll to try to choose my favorite one, just so it's not empty over here. Hmm, which one should we choose? This one's cute. Oh, it has everyone here. Reminds me of the Polaroid. These are exactly the same. I guess I'll choose this since it's closest to the Polaroid. And here's my last page. I know this is not the final concept because this is Power Up, Queendom, and Bloom, but I don't know, I just put it there. Okay, that's my album concept photo card binder as of December 31, 2022. And this is my non-album concept photo card binder. Here's the cover page. This is my favorite photo ever of Irene from her season's greetings photo shoots. So that's why that's a photo I think you'll stay it'll be this photo for a very long time. 2021 or 2022? SMCU Express. 2019 Season's Greetings. Uh, concept, oh not concept, um, endorsement photos from G Market. This was from some kind of SM merch, like Time to Love. Photo cards are kind of like more priority over inclusions, but it's always fun to decorate the binder, like kind of add some personality to it. Because yeah, photo cards all look one way, but the order that you put your inclusions in kind of add dimension to various photo card binder collections. Oh yeah, so I also have a freebie page over here. So here's like, SM event up to season's greeting stuff. So 
there definitely will be an update in the future next year for 2023 Red Velvet Season's greetings. I'll just quickly flip through this since there's nothing new, but since this is an Irene photo card binder video, might as well show everything that I have so far as of 2022. Definitely, there's still a lot to get though. There's still a lot more photo cards and inclusions to try to get. Unofficial photo card, I believe. Um, I'm still looking for that. I think it was like the fifth anniversary some cafe photo card. But um the prices online are just outrageous. So definitely not a priority, but it'd be cool to get more of the old photo cards that I don't have yet. Definitely a process. Mm, out of this page, I like this photo card a lot. Hey, if anything, here's the festive photo card for you guys. I don't know what year it came from, but it was some endorsement card for a mobile game. So I like this card. Definitely like the G Market card because it has macarons. And it just looks like such a wholesome photo. <laughs> All of these photos are really pretty. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this page I really didn't know what to do with the inclusion, so I just stuck everything in there because I didn't want to like make my other binder too full since I already had to make a second binder for that. Separate the album and the non-album concept inclusions and photo cards. Okay, so that's my photo card binder collection of Irene. My second binder. And that was my last update of 2022 for my Irene photo card binder collections. Happy New Year!